Good morning, everybody. I am over here at Big League Politics, May 5th, 2018. Yes, I'm having some serious computer problems, as always. Those freaking ads. Freaking ads. Okay. Um, okay, now I can't scroll to the article. So give me a minute. Okay, this came out March 8, 2018. Obama is colluding with Netflix to create a propaganda machine. All right, let's see if we can get through this. If I can, oh, there we go. Okay, oops. Okay. <clears throat> Hold still, please. Thank you. Okay, former President Barack Obama is currently in advanced negotiations with Netflix to produce a series of shows through them. This will give the former president easy access into the living rooms of virtually every American in order to spread whatever propaganda he wants. down. Uh, okay, the deal would pay both the former president and his wife Michelle to provide exclusive content to over 118 million Netflix subscribers around the world. It is unclear of the exact content. Uh, yeah, well, we, can, we can pretty much guess what it is. That would be produced, but after looking at Um, after looking at other content produced by Netflix, the shows being highly political wouldn't be surprising. And then we've got some eggs here. Okay. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. It makes me want to give up doing YouTube videos. Um, uh, this is... Hold on again. After receiving massive investment, investments totaling over $40 million from George Soros, okay, so Georgie Porgy is, is in Netflix as well, in 2015 and 16, the content on streaming service began to shift and include originally produced content with political agendas. Boy, I'm going to tell you, I can tell you that is absolutely correct. I mean, I'm watching right now a show called The Rain. <laughs> and um, it's, it's about the rain coming down and it's filled with viruses and it kills people unless they were like uh, able to avoid the rain, whether it was in their house or their bunkers, whatever. Uh, a lot of people died. There were quarantine zones. Everybody looking for food, uh, fighting for food, killing for food. And, um, you know, these people had to seek out shelter and they found this house with a bunch of people which were definitely a cult and um, they invited them to stay and enjoy a great meal and you know continue to stay if they want well their great meal that they ate was a human so now we got cannibalism in there too so cannibalism, um, just in that one show alone, uh, poison rain, you know, and you can see in the sky uh, the chemtrails. I mean, they don't talk about how the viruses are in the rain, but anyway, so there's your propaganda. Viruses in the rain and cannibalism. So that's, that's their agenda. Um, the 
one show they released was titled Dear White People and was extremely racially charged, as the name implies. They also released a show featuring Katie, Katie Couric, who explores gender identity, while at the same time editing a portion of old episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy, where Nye makes the claim that there are only two genders. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and Bill Nye is not who you think he is either. All right. Um, God, I hope you can see it over here. Okay. Mm, with former President Obama already going against the norm of other of other presidents by attacking the current president, it's clear that Obama is okay with getting divisively political. And it would not be surprising to see how his show used as a political weapon of the left. Mm. Also worth mentioning is the fact that Michelle Obama is so prominently involved in the negotiations. Michelle has been touted, get this, mm. as a possible challenger to Trump in 2020. I, I, that just that just can't happen. I, that just can't. Because Michelle's a man, alright? And if you don't know that by now, you better go back into your recent history and check that out. Michelle has a man's body. So, now we've got this transgender crap thingy in Netflix. Anyways, uh, if Michelle does decide to use her to her television show uh, to prop her into the White House, will the Democrats finally stop at attacking Trump for being a former TV star? Is that it? I, well, I got more. I just have to switch to another page. Boycott. Conservatives are leaving Netflix to protest Obama's show, March 11, 2018. Uh, come on. Come on. Move page. If anybody out there can help me with the computer, please let me know. Please. I can't keep doing this. This is bullshit. BS. Okay, so let's continue if we can. <laughs> Guess not. In response to recent reporting from Big League Politics showing that former President Obama is in advanced negotiation with Netflix for a new show, Trump supporters have begun unsubscribing to Netflix. Now my page won't move. See? You can hear me clicking it. It won't move. Uh, everything's stuck. Frozen. Unresponsive. See, this is what I get all the bloody, bloody, bloody time. I am constantly running this. I just had to stop, lower the screen, and make a scan and see how many way I can get through any pages decently. And that's just a temporary bandage. I do want you to see something. Right now, see there are zero threats in my computer. So why my computer is acting like this is your guess. Back to the article. Boycott Netflix. See, it works a little better. And there's... Ah. We'll get through this. In response to recent reporting from Big League Politics, which I think I kind of like this site, showing that former President Obama is in advanced negotiations with Netflix for a new show. I think I've read this, but sorry. Trump supporters have begun unsubscribing to Netflix. Oh, we're stuck again. Mm. 
the streaming service which has over 118 million subscribers and plans starting at $7.99 is beginning to take a hit from angry conservatives who don't like the idea of a former president using a service they pay for to spread propaganda. Unresponsive page again. Can you guys, anybody out there have a used computer that works? Please let me know. I'm going to have to stop making videos if this is the case. And last but not least, back on March 12th, this was posted. Netflix stock is plummeting in response to the Obama show. <laughs> oh well. Too bad for them. Look at all this ad at the bottom. And I can't move. Oh, there we go. Um... Hold on, pausing again. Well, I'm going to end it because it looks like my screen recorder is also going to crap the hell out on me, too. So, um, those freaking ads and shit. But, um, I wish I could read this. Oh, we can't. Last week, Big League Politics exposed how former President Barack Obama is in advanced negotiation with video streaming service uh, Netflix to have his own show. Uh, began Trump supporter Trump supporters across the country began boycotting Netflix by canceling their memberships. Um, just days into the boycott, Netflix is already feeling the heat. Ah, wow! Their stock has been steadily lowering in price since the boycott began. Just today. Um, the stock has dropped nearly 3% in value. As of press time, it's down at 9.35. <clears throat> Since Christmas, the stock has been steadily climbing, leading to investment publications to praise the company, stating that their stock is on fire. On Christmas Day, the Netflix stock was priced at $191.00. And just last week, it topped off at 331. It was just before it came out that Barack Obama and, yes, wife Michelle, Michael, was in talks with Netflix to have a show for himself and another for his wife, Michelle. After the announcement, the stock took a hit. Yeah, you think? Which actually doesn't make sense, because they're all kind of... Well, they're all interconnected. Netflix, Obama, Soros. Uh, it's all freaking connected. Anyways, um, so anyways, I'm going to end it here. And <laughs> I hope you all have a good day. And until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Okay, I love you all.